Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Rita, and today I'll be reading for you Genesis chapter 17, part 5. And then this is called... Sarah will have a son called Isaac. Verse 15, 16. God promised that Sarah would have a son. This could not happen in the natural way. Sarah was too old. But God's promise was clear. Whole nations would be among her descendants. Sarai means my princess. Perhaps it showed what her parents thought about her. But Sarah means princess, and it shows God's plan for her. That gave her greater honor. Abraham was joyful, but he did not know how God would carry out his promise. So, Abraham spoke, uh, spoke to God about Ishmael. Abraham wanted, wanted a blessing for Ishmael. God knew Abraham's thoughts, and God made promises for Ishmael. But God also made promises about Isaac, who would be Sarah's son. Isaac would be the son that God had chosen. God had promised that special son, Isaac, to Abraham, and Sarah... 25 years before. Abraham obeyed God immediately. Abraham received circumcision. So did Ishmael and every male who lived with Abraham. This included Ishmael, male slaves. This chapter is very important. God do what he promised. Otherwise, Isaac would not have been born and there would, have, there would be no nation called Israel. Abraham showed his family how they should live. He obeyed God immediately. Abraham ob obeyed God even before God gave Isaac to him. God's covenant was still there. Even when the people in Israel started to oppose God, it was there even when they sinned. There's three things that God promised, and he's the three. First, that he would always be Abraham's God, Two, that Abraham would have made very many descendants. Three, that Abraham's family would have their own country. The New Testament teaches more about God's covenant. Because of Jesus, people who are not Jews can join in, can join in with God's covenant. God had promised to bless his people, and Christ made God's blessing complete. In the Old Testament, there are several packet passages where the where the writer mentions circumcision of the heart or mind. Circumcision was physical evidence that people obeyed God, but circumcision of the heart meant that Israel's had to obey God in every way. That included what they thought, it included what they said, and it included what they did. In the New Testament, Paul talks about that. He discusses it in his letter to the Romans. Chapter 2. Amen. Uh, that was Genesis chapter 17, part 5. And next video will be all about uh, Genesis chapter 18. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it supports you. Amen.